All right, hello and welcome back to episode 39 of New Breed Film Reviews. And on this episode, we're going to talk about um, a list we put up on our Facebook page. I don't know if you guys have had the chance to check this out. Um, it's 140 sequels that are currently in the works. Uh, we just want to kind of touch in ones that we are excited about, ones that we should not be made at all. And uh, we took a little bit of a hiatus last week, uh, my first Father's Day. So I got to spend it with my son, and uh, Paulie's B Day was uh, yeah. on last Sunday, the twenty first. <clears throat> so uh, we took a little break, but we're back now. We're coming strong. We uh, we might have a little bit of hate in this episode. Uh, Dave says he's got a lot to say. I got so, a lot, uh, whole lot. <laughs> so Dave's on the podcast with me, obviously, and Paulie is. Yes. Hey, so, you didn't uh, you didn't tell my backstory while I wasn't on. I was on a on an Amazon excursion. Oh, okay. Looking for I didn't gold, know that. gold bars. I didn't know that. <clears throat> I didn't know that either. It's an interesting fun fact. I'm an exciting guy like that. You guys didn't know. <laughs> <clears throat> Dave is uh, coming up to from Florida to Connecticut this upcoming weekend. We're both yep. excited about that to be able to see him. It's yep. been a long time. Yeah, it's how, been... How, how long? Almost a year? Almost a year, dude. I'm going back mm-hmm. to uh, my old stomping grounds. Really like my home. You know, Connecticut's my home, so, yeah. <laughs> let's get all that lovingness out of the way. Let's get into, uh, so out of the list, what one, like, <clears throat> same one that you're excited about, that, that you're like, yeah, that's cool that they're coming up with a sequel to it. Who, me or Paul? You or I, Paul, either one. You, you want to, because I, I don't know, I, dude, I got like a, I randomly, it was like 140, right? I just like quickly went yeah, yeah, through I'm just, and I just yeah, jotted yeah, a just few down. Yeah, just touch on a couple of them. All right, yeah, yeah. I'll just I'll, I'll drop one right now. Rambo, <laughs> a, a new installment <laughs> of Rambo. Can I just say, like, I'm not even gonna hate on it and get too crazy. I'm just gonna say that the last one, I was fine with that. Like, I, it was wrapped up well. People getting cut in half with a with a a fifty cow on the back of a truck. It was a good wrap up. Um, leave it alone. And they're gonna Stallone's gonna do another one. Why? Like what? What give can up, you man. tell? He's, what, he's just gotta give it up. <laughs> yeah. What more the story do we need to see? Like you know, like it's just done. I think he's pushing it, and he's gonna break a hip. He's, he's getting too old for it. Just like Terminator. You know, Arnold's getting too old for it. You know, give up the action movies, dude. That's my opinion. Arnold got another sequel of Terminator in the works. What? I know. What? I read that. What? Is he going to be alive? You know what? Uh, Hollywood's be, money hungry, man. Not to be mean. If it dude. makes money, they want to keep doing it. You know, is it like, yeah. is he going to be in spirit? <laughs> <laughs> They're just going to have Arnold. I, don't know. I haven't on, like, seen the new Terminator, like, so I don't know how it ends to... yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's all it's going to be. Anyway, that's my what rant. Thinking, well, what are you thinking, uh, are you excited one about one, or you think one of these guys should absolutely not be made? I have I have a pretty extensive list here, um, so <laughs> I'll just start throwing stuff out and say, like, all right. So the first one that I saw in there because I actually kind of went backwards on the list was uh was Ride Along Two, and that's got Kevin Hart and Ice Cube in the first one. And let me just say, I love Kevin Hart. I love Ice Cube in a lot of his movies, not all of his movies, but man, that first one was terrible. It was just a bad movie. So I'm going to say definitely not, definitely not for that one. I didn't get the chance to see it. I can go on. But, uh, were they trying to do like a Friday thing? Like Ice Cube, Chris Tucker? Were they trying to do like Ice Cube and Kevin, uh, Kevin Hart? Like Like trying to get that same vibe? Yeah, Yeah. Were they trying to hit that same Friday vibe? Uh, they might have been, but, it was, I mean, it's tough. Like, you have Ice Cube from Boys in the Hood, you know, Doughboy, and then you have Ice Cube who plays a cop. And it's just like, eh. I like all about the Benjamins. That was funny. <clears throat> Tracy Cube Morgan like stole that movie. Dude, yeah. I've never, i never seen Ride Along, and honestly, like, that's not my type of humor. I don't really like the, the, the hood humor. <laughs> like it doesn't yeah. really do it for me. Like you, ju- you like Friday though. Friday was Friday was funny. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, Friday was good. That's a classic. But typically, I don't. You know, I don't really like that style of humor. So, yeah. 
And the first one didn't do well. That's why I'm kind of surprised that it might have done well in the theaters, but I think the reception on it was pretty poor. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I'm very surprised that they're making another one. Yeah. But the that's dude... just like one of my smaller <laughs> ones that like I knew you guys weren't going to really know much about. The rest of them I think we're going to be able to talk quite a bit about. Yeah. So um, the one I saw down on the list and I thought to myself, like, just give it up. Like, just put the night and you know, put a fork on it and call it done. Another Resident Evil movie. Like another yeah. one. That's on my list, just, dude. I got something just to say. Just quit it. Just quit it. You know, like the last one sucked. And the last one, you could tell they just, the budget was lower <clears throat> and they were just trying to grab for the money. And it's just, now the story is so twisted and weird and, and funky. Like they're not even zombies anymore. They're can, like these weird monsters. I, I don't even know. Can I, too, give, can I touche you right now? Yeah. Can I just fire back, dude? Resident Evil is my Fast and Furious franchise. Is it? Like, you know how you said you don't care if they're good and you're like, you don't yeah. see it, dude. Yep. I, I don't, watch them all. <laughs> something about them, dude. They're cheesy. They suck. They're not like the game, but I'll still go. Like, <laughs> I, I've seen all the other ones and they're terrible. And it's like, why not? Let's just continue the terribleness. And <laughs> it's a tradition. Well, it's because you got a big crush on the lead. She's, dude, Lilu from Fifth still... Element. Still. Ooh. Yep. She's still. <laughs> Ooh. In that yeah, franchise. dude. Mila Jovovich. That Lilu. <laughs> <laughs> that Lilu, though. Um, yeah, dude. I'm. I'm. I'll check it out. I'm not. You know, it's probably gonna be trash, but you most know. likely. Trying too hard. Yeah, it is what it is. <clears throat> All right, what I got one. Got? Does Does Paul have something on Resident Evil? Uh, no, I haven't watched that since like the second one, so. I don't have much to speak on for that. I've seen all. I've I'm right with you, Dave. Like I've yeah. seen all of them. At least when they've come out to like uh, on demand or like Netflix or like uh, Redbox, I've seen you them all. Watch. I do, I do. Yeah. But the last one really sucked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dude, that's like Underworld, which I, which I'll probably touch on because that's on my list. Like Underworld, yeah, they progressively got worse, yeah. and I, I'll still see the next one. You know, like but but I got one. You guys yeah. ready? So Ready? you yep. you knocking off my list, Resident Evil. So I'm gonna say I, I, I jotted down Riddick four, the next Riddick, and <laughs> stop, Mr. Vin Diesel. <laughs> can I, M- Mr. Vin Diesel? If you hear this podcast, Wait. please stop, sir. I have a piggyback off of that when you're uh, when you're all done with your rant. Okay, I'm almost done. <laughs> Pitch Black is the best one. Yes. Chronicles try to go way out there over the top. The next one try to be like Pitch Black, but it was like a, a, a terrible copy of it. And why? Like, just do another Fast and Furious. I'd rather <laughs> see that. <clears throat> Butcher the character. Richard B. Riddick is badass. Yeah, I mean, they they make money. Do they make money on Riddick? Like the third one? I don't think <laughs> they, they, they did. shouldn't. I don't think they did though. So like, why are they signing up for a fourth? I don't know, dude. Is that like confirmed or is that just one of yeah, the Yeah, I mean, the some of these are rumors. Vin some Diesel are... said he was gearing up for it. Oh, was he? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, to piggyback off of that, I'm going to still do a new one, but I just want to say, Mr. Diesel, sir, while you're at it, if you, you know, please do stop doing the Riddick movies, but also please stop the triple X movies and please stop the fast and the furious movies. Dude, we're over it. I we concur. got it. I concur. You know, I didn't watch seven, even though I, I really want to, I, I will see it, but that was supposed to be one last ride. And now we hear that you're signed on for what? Three more. I think they're <laughs> signed up for up to fast 10. Yeah. They, they at least, they confirmed fast eight. They confirmed at least another one. Statham's right now. back too. Yeah. It's like, ah, oh, just, just stop. <clears throat> okay. In Triple X three, I didn't even know there was a Triple X two. Ice that one was Ice Cube. However, <laughs> however, with Triple X three, it's only a rumor. It's not confirmed <laughs> or anything like that. So you might be okay. Can I be honest um, with you though? Sure. I didn't mind Triple. I didn't mind the first Triple X. No, I, the first Triple X was fine. Yeah, I he, like enjoyed jumped, it. he jumped the Corvette like off the you know bang, off the bang, the bridge. Yeah. Dude, it was it was fun. It was. Yeah, I enjoyed it. All right, so next on my list here is a movie that I'm super excited about. Mel Brooks has been 
talking about this and talking about this, and I think now we might actually have something here, and it's Spaceballs 2. He said he's been writing it, and it's like, what, almost 30 years later? Maybe it is 30 years later that since the first one came out. Dude, Mel Brooks but, is alive? Yeah. <laughs> and he's writing Spaceballs 2 as we speak. <laughs> what? Yeah, dude, he's I, like 90, but... I thought he was dead. Oh, okay, dude, he's 90. How good can it be? Like Probably good. He's still Mel Brooks. Dude, it's not going to make any sense. He's probably no. got, like, dementia by now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> so that's something I'm super... I think super he's excited. probably trying... He's probably uh, trying to capitalize on. Um, I'm surprised. I'll leave this for you. He's probably trying to capitalize on the new Star Wars coming out, like the new set of Star he, Wars coming out. That's exactly what it's even said. So, yeah. like, can I ask yeah. this though? Who greenlit a script from a 90 year old man? Like, I, I don't know. I want to see that movie. <laughs> would you? Would you, Bry? Like, would you greenlight that? Like, no. no? Yeah. Pro- me either. Um, the original here's, space. Here's the movie? key. Here's the key. Mm. That from a production standpoint, if they think it's going to be cheap to make and they're going to make more money than what mm. they made it for, then yeah, they're going to say, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, yeah. have fun, dude. What, he's, regardless, he's 89 by the way. Yeah, dude. Regardless, a script from an 89 year old man has to be better than like M Night Shyamalan, and <laughs> we true. have his Can, movies. Wait, yeah, before true. all right. So there's this show called Wayward Pines on TV. And it's produced and directed by M. Night Shyamalan. And it's actually so far really good. Like, really good. It's a yeah. trick. It's on Hulu. It's, but that's right? it. It's always, it's always a trick. I don't know if it's on Hulu. We watch it on, on cable, but I imagine yeah, it's, it's on Hulu. Hulu. It's about uh-huh. to be real bad, Paul. You watch. Well, that's what I've, you. I've been saying. But, like, every time I think it's going to go to shit, it actually, I'm like, oh, that's it. They just jumped the shark. They ruined the show. And then the twist that pops up, I'm like, oh, I did not see that. And it keeps me intrigued. So I might hate on M. Night Shyamalan movies, but this show is actually so far pretty decent. Dude, the best part of that guy's movies, okay, he did Sixth Sense. That was awesome. But, like, the best part of his movies are the titles and the trailers. When you go to see the movie, it's, like, such a disappointment, man. You know? Yeah. The Village one, Signs. Signs is okay. But... Yeah, but when until you they the record part, aliens. Like, yeah, spoiler, though. When they get to the part where, like, you realize that water, like, <clears throat> kills them, you're like, this is stupid. Yeah. yeah. They, they, they come to a planet that's made, that's yeah, so made of water. <laughs> the kamikaze aliens. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right, All right, so back on topic here. Who, uh, I think who's Brian go, Brian? Brian? Yeah, um, this one I brought up before about one of my favorite all-time comedies and one of the sequels. I think we had this episode uh, where we did talk about a couple sequels that we were excited about. Is Super Troopers 2. Um, I, I Indiegogo go, go this. I, I backed it. And um, they got, you know, over $3 million. They were shooting for $2 million. It's one of my top comedy movies. I laugh every time when I watch the movie. So I think they're nice. going to do a good job. They, they're, they're a great like bunch of characters, the uh, what are they called? Broken Lizard Productions. Yep. Yeah, Broken Lizard Productions. They do some funny stuff. So I'm actually really excited about that sequel coming out. Sh- shamefully, as a movie dude, I've never seen Super Troopers. And we've been you telling should. you forever, yeah. and never, never watch <laughs> yeah. this damn movie. <laughs> you, you guys have <laughs> one of these days, <clears throat> dude. It's funny. Like over the weekend, I revisited like four Hellraiser movies. I finished the Underworld franchise and um, just wasted my life away. <laughs> All these new movies out here for you to watch and you go back to the old... That's right. I watched like Ghostbusters the other day and Goonies and... Right. But but can I... Uh, just one more thing on Hellraiser because I got to just kind of backtrack on that. The first two were actually decent. I like the first two Hellraisers by Clive Barker. The ones after that were just garbage. But anyway... um. <laughs> like that twisted shit yeah (laughs) um all right so i got i'm just gonna blast through a few i'm not gonna say too much i do two at a time i saw rush hour four and just i just wrote you know what i wrote on my list no that's (laughs) it just no and then that's only a myth as well though right now the only person who said that that's actually happening is jackie chan nobody else has said anything about it so I like I like Chris Tucker though I like I, I like him he's an annoying character but he's funny I, yeah. I, I yeah but the only Rush Hour movie up. that was good was the first one no two was all right two was and good. Jackie Chan's also old now too was he's got to be in his late yeah, sixties right dude he's still yeah 
he's still kicking. I saw him in this like trailer for like a new movie, and he's like still doing stuff. <laughs> he's still kicking it, dude. <laughs> doing stunts and like pushing limits. That guy's crazy, man. Wow, legend. Um, so Rush Hour Four, <laughs> just no. And Sherlock Holmes Three, I'm with it. I'm with it. Robert Downey was dope as Sherlock Holmes. I, I enjoyed the first two. And bring it on. I, I would appreciate a third one. I can get down with that. Mm-hmm. Right, um, it was good. I'll, I'll shoot two, of them off, two off as well. Uh, Toy Story 4. I'm, I'm good with that. I'll, uh, I'll watch that movie. I like Toy Story <coughs> movies. Um, and Tucker and Dale Must Die. Or uh, not Tucker and Dale Must Die. Jesus. Tucker evil and one. Dale Defeat Evil or whatever it is. Two. The first one was such a sleeper to me. Like, someone had recommended it, Brian. I think it might have even been you. Yeah, um, I did. Yep. And like, you see the previews, you're like, this looks so corny. Even yeah. just reading the description, you're like, this is going to suck. But you watch it, and the movie's really funny. Like, it was yeah, it stuck. Is. It's so campy, but they're making fun of themselves. But it's not it's like camp- scary movie campy. It's, yeah. it's just a really well-written movie. And uh, well, they I make look fun forward of- to the second one. Yeah, it's almost like a it's like a horror movie parody. You know, they they crack yeah. on horror, horror movie uh, normal things that happen in horror movies and stuff. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I never saw the first one. So it's not bad. Just... If you're bored, check it out. It's on Netflix, I think. Definitely. Yeah, it should be. It was on Netflix. That's where I watched it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it probably not right up your alley. <clears throat> it's not a. Uh, Probably not your type of movie. If it's somewhat well, watch like, Super Troopers. If it, if it's somewhat like Shaun of the Dead, like that kind of like that humor, no. I I enjoyed Shaun of the Dead. I, no. I enjoyed Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead's like oh, like right up on the top, like of my movies that I go back to all the time. I wouldn't put it up there. Yeah, but the same, it's trying for the same thing. It's almost like uh, a couple steps above like Scary Movie, you know, like the Scary Movie franchise no, that make fun no, of scary no. movies. No, I. I won't agree with you there, sir. I'm sorry, but it's not. It's, it's in such a different direction than the scary movie movies are. Yeah, fucking redundancy. Um, <laughs> it's just it's not in that style. So, humor wise, maybe it's like it's a couple steps funnier than the scary movies, but it's just a totally different style. It's not. I don't look at it so much as a parody like those other ones are. I just look at it as a horror movie that is making fun of itself. <clears throat> if that makes any sense. But regardless, all right, Brian, your turn. Um, one of the ones that I wanted to touch on is uh, I don't know if you guys like kung fu movies or if you've seen The Raid. Um, yeah, it's it's something I'll check out when it gets to Netflix. But first I think it's sick. Yeah, the first one, the second one's supposed to be awesome too. I haven't had the chance. That's like Raid, the Raid Redemption or something like that. Yeah. And it's just a nasty kung fu movie. Like one of the best kung fu movies I've seen in a while. They just continually, you know, just like power through it, you know? Yeah, it's pretty sick, dude. I, I, I didn't see the second one. I caught bits of it, but the first one was like, for a low budget, like fighting movie, it was, it was pretty, pretty badass. Like very, I want to say original. It's just like done in a certain way where it was like, it was just entertaining and just for dudes fighting on screen and you just your jaws drop like, holy crap. Right. Like, that shit was sick. Um, To touch on, we're going to do uh, sci-fi next, you know, and Prometheus 2. You know, I'm excited about that one coming out. I think it's going to be cool to kind of carry the Prometheus 2 story and to see more about, you know, it leaves off at the end of the movie, not to give spoilers, mm-hmm. but she leaves to go somewhere specifically, and you kind of want to go there with her. Yeah. So I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that they, that movie's going to pick up for Prometheus too. I'm I'm down. Tell dude. that story. Yeah. I, I really enjoyed Prometheus. Uh, for the people who don't know about the Prometheus movie, it was a prequel to the Alien franchise, and it was also done by Ridley Scott. And you know, it had some big shoes to fill, and um. You know, uh, it was it was good. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a great sci-fi movie. I, I really Me too. enjoyed and it. I, it was cool how they kind of had like little nods to Alien. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, I got that on Blu-ray, dude. I definitely would see a second one for sure. Um, is it my go? Yep. Yeah. All right. Short and sweet. Sin City Three. Don't care. Mm-hmm, uh, me either. <laughs> Star Trek Beyond. Yes. Like, bring it on, because the Star Trek reboots were sick. 
And yeah. I like Chris Pine. He's an awesome Kirk. And I do like the new direction that the Star Trek franchise uh, went in. And if I'm not mistaken, the Abrams guy, he's doing the Star Wars movie, right? Yes. Yep. Dude, yeah. his directorial skills with, with Star Wars, that's going to be badass. Like, yeah. you know, because he just revitalized, like, Star Trek. Star Trek was just, like, it was just dead, you know? He owns uh, Bad Robot. Um, the production company too, and they have a couple of good films that are out there. Like yep. they did Super Eight. You weren't that big of a fan of Super Eight, but I like Super Eight. Yeah, I didn't care for it too much. But um, yep, those are my picks. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, in the now tradition of doing two at a time, uh, the first one's gonna be quick. The second one is probably gonna develop a little bit of a conversational piece here. Uh, so Zoolander two, I said maybe okay to that. Um, I like the first one. I don't know if I can necessarily take a second one. I don't know where they would go with it. Um, so I'll, If they do actually come out with a second one, I'll probably wait for DVD as much as I'd like the first one. Uh, the next one is Avatar sequels. Now, I know that it was already announced basically as soon as the first one came out that James Cameron had either written or was going to write sequels uh, to Avatar, something that was going to like take place underwater or, or something along those lines. I'm very iffy on the Avatar sequels. I think the first one was damn near perfection, in my opinion, um, as far as just a great, great movie. Um, the story might have been lacking, but just the effects make up for all of that. Um, and I don't know what you guys' thoughts are. <clears throat> um, Avatar, uh, I'll take I'll take my part. Uh, like, give or take. You know, like if I'm bored, I'll go check it out in the movies. It's it doesn't. It sounds bad, but like I I don't put it up there in my book as like a. It is epically done as far as like 3D technology and uh, CGI technology. I completely respect what James Cameron did, but is it like one of my top best movies, or is it like a movie that I would like love to see over and over again? No. So the other ones, I'm like, I'm iffy about. I'm I'm with you, Paul. I'm like iffy about whether I'm excited. Yeah. Two or three. This is this is like my take on Avatar, and is a very similar opinion to you guys. Like when I first saw Avatar, I was like, I was pretty much blown away <clears throat> because we've never seen anything like that. You know that that well done, like the C, CGI wise, and <clears throat> I mean, Final Fantasy: The Spirits Within was like a full CGI movie, and I was pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Um, Avatar took it to another level. The story's kind of boring. Like, to be honest, Avatar is boring. Like, I'm just keeping it real. Like, I can watch it once every, you know, blue moon, because. I mean, what sucked doing was the effects, and it was very colorful and, like, the wow factor. But after you watch the movie, it, it kind of drags. It's a lot – there's too many messages, and it doesn't, like, move along. And my honest opinion about the sequels is this. Who am I to say? James James Cameron's James Cameron. I'm just a regular Joe. But he didn't strike where the iron was hot. He waited too long, and now I personally don't give a crap. Like, That's the problem, and, yeah. And the the – Avatar franchise isn't doesn't have that wow factor anymore. Like it's it's just they allowed it to kind of fizzle, fizzle away. So you know if you would have came out with a sequel six months later, like how they did with the Matrix, they didn't wait that long and it was like boom, you know the next Matrix and then the third one, you know I I think it will be like huge. But at this point, who knows if it's going to be a hit? Like it'll probably do well, but. I think they should have came out with them sooner. I agree. It was like a big hit, and it was like the number one movie to see, like, what, four years ago? Yeah. Five years ago? Dude, I grew a full beard. I had patches when Avatar came out. My beard is full now. <laughs> That's a long time ago. All right, so uh, we're, we're going to have a new um, a new, new breed film rating, and it's by uh, when Dave's beard was patchy compared right. to when Dave's beard was full, and that depends on right. the age of the movie. Well, yeah. now we have to go by grayness in my beard. Like, if yes. mo- by the time a suit comes out and there's a fair amount of gray, it's too long. It's too <laughs> long. Too long. If I get hair coming out my ears, that's another sign. You know? 
But, dude, how many movies are coming out right now that are sequels that are, like, 20 years later, 30 years later? It's been... Right. Yeah. It's, it's getting to the point where that's all that's happening. It's either it's either sequels that are yeah. coming 20 or 30 years later or reboots. But there's a... To me, there's a difference because this is going to sound crazy and weird or not make sense, but it will. I'm more excited about a sequel that's two decades old than a sequel that... We're, that's dragged out and we're waiting for like within 10 years like that that doesn't make any sense but it, but like to me it does like if you have um okay like indiana jones even though the fourth one sucked tell me dude everybody was excited like oh my god the next indie movie 20 something years later this is gonna be rad like it was like a cool novelty to it you know but avatar man uh, you know what i'll be excited 10 more years I'll be I'll be excited. <laughs> Fifteen more years from now. <clears throat> so that's that's my thought on uh, yeah. Avatar. <laughs> All right, fellas. Yeah, so you got any uh, any? Yeah, we got any last ones? We'll kind of like wrap it up and get on to the next one. Few. Ones that you really want to touch on? Yeah, I, I can blast through a ton in five minutes. Okay. You want to go? So okay. ones that I saw, ones that I saw that I'm excited about was uh, Dave. You're not going to be excited about this, but I'll probably force you to go see it. Is uh. Finding uh, Dory, <laughs> the uh, sequel to Finding I'm Nemo. I'm thrilled, dude. I'm I know in. you are. I'm in, too. I'm in, too. I'm excited about it. Um, one that we've talked about before, uh, Pacific Rim. They have a Pacific Rim 2 that's coming out. That I'm down. really awesome. I'm down. 100% Paulie did not down. like Pacific Rim, and uh, I question his movie taste sometimes. I gave it, like, four or five tries. Like, I, I did. I I really wanted to like that movie, and I just it was it was not good to me at all. And then um, the last one that I wanted to touch on was Mission Impossible. There's going to be like a six that's coming out, and uh, my thought process is keep them coming. You know, I gotta I'll support them out. a boy. Yeah, just keep them coming. I'll watch them. Yep. it's like Bond movies. Whenever a Bond movie comes <clears throat> out, I'll check it out. You know, it's Mission Impossible good. is either a hit or a miss, and if it's a hit, it's really good. If it's a miss, it's blah. Like, right, the, and you never um, know until they come out. Ghost Protocol was awesome. Yeah. But the third one, the third one sucked. First so. one is the best. Yes. In my opinion. <clears throat> um, Paul, you want to blast through yours or? Yeah, I could do mine. I only have, uh, realistically, I have two more. There was a lot more on the list that I was interested in, but I only wrote down a couple more. Um, one is anybody who knows me knows I'm a huge Kevin Smith fan, and that goes for his his good movies, which you know people think there aren't any um but even his bad movies which people think a lot of people think all of them are bad movies uh to me i like the artisticness of his films loved clerks and i loved mall rats and he has confirmed sequels to both of those movies another one uh mall rats 2 is coming out i think he's already started filming that i'm pretty excited about that one clerks 3 he has written but he hasn't started filming because he's got like three other movies he's doing in the next like year. Um, he's just shooting them out, but I'm excited about that. Also, they're shooting a, another, it might even be done shooting, but, uh, another Pirates of the Caribbean movie. I Don't love them. Care. I loved all the Pirates movies, man. I thought they were awesome movies. Yeah. We clearly have complete opposite tastes in movies. But, but that's what makes us spicy. I think yeah. the Pirates movies are just dragged out, dude. They're like, they're done. That's just oh, my opinion. Great, man. The you storylines are great on them. They keep you and Dave uh, are intrigued. definitely on opposite ends of the spectrum. I love Johnny Depp, I think, though. I think I can balance between the two of you guys. He, A Johnny, lot of times, yeah, but we are not dude, the same. Johnny Depp is awesome as Jack Sparrow. I, I, for sure. But the Pirates movies, I don't know, man. I don't know. <clears throat> That's it, Paul? Yeah. Yeah. That's All right. My list. I just got 30. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now I only got a few. All right. Star Wars, the new one, I'm down. Bring it on. I was waiting on. for that. I was Bring waiting it on. For, I was waiting for someone. I'm down. I, I can't even I, – I quit. Like the fact that I didn't write that down is absolutely mind-blowing to me considering when I saw the trailer, I literally cried because yeah. of how excited <laughs> I was. Not, not like figuratively like ask Kristen – I fucking cried in the theater when I saw that trailer and Han Solo was like, Chewie, we're home. I lost it. So the fact that I don't have this down as a sequel that I am super excited about 
I I just I don't even know what to do with myself yeah. anymore. Dude, I just I, I want to see Boba Fett. Can can Boba Fett somehow come back? Like they're doing an in, they're doing an independent movie on him. You know, like Star are, Wars is announcing, but it's not going to be the same type of budget. It's not going to be the same. No, quality. but they're doing they're doing the Marvel thing where they're doing standalone films and then Tom Hardy is Boba world. Fett. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. You won't even see him. <laughs> <laughs> I have his helmet on all the time. No one could play Boba Fett under the mask like Tom Hardy. Yeah. What is what is everybody's love with Boba Fett? I don't I don't quite. He's just badass, he's, dude. Like he's just a badass bounty hunter. You you know what I think it is, dude? Is that he has potential to be so badass, and we didn't like see enough of him at all. It's like a dude with a jetpack, jetpack and blasters. Like, and he's a bounty he's hunter. Like That's most, like badass. He's like the most. Yeah, and they the, they cloned. He was so badass that they cloned the entire Clone Wars after this one dude. Yeah, know? yeah. <laughs> Boba Fett for president. Fair enough. Um, so let me see. Taken four. Nope. Don't care. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles two. I don't really care. Uh, Top Gun two. Bring it on. I want to see Tom Cruise back. I read something. It's going to be drone warfare. Old pilot versus the new tech. Let's do it, baby. I'm, I'll check it out. Trans- Don't get me wrong. I thought the first Top Gun was amazing. I mean, I think you have to, but a sequel now is just silly, stretching, stretching. Yeah, I'm with it. Uh, <laughs> Transformers Five, die, <laughs> die, Michael Bay. No, uh, Tron Three, dude, they scrapped Tron, the sequel to Legacy, so many times. It's like in development hell, <clears throat> and. Dude, Tron Legacy was so awesome. Like, I want to see a sequel to it. They're they're yeah. crazy if they don't do a sequel. The, mm-hmm. Disney's got all their money tied up in Star Wars and Marvel right yeah. now. That's the problem. Um, <clears throat> Wolverine, the new one, I I probably won't go see it. Maybe if I'm bored, don't really care. Uh, Underworld Next Generation, I'm I will definitely not go to the theater, but I'll probably <laughs> see it because if Kate Beckinblaze is in it, dude, she's so <laughs> hot. Um, yeah. World War Z two, sure. I liked There's World War Z. Still Z2. haven't seen I really, the first one. Damn it! I really liked the, the first one. Yeah, out of boredom. I mean, the special effects need a little bit more help, but I liked the story. <laughs> <laughs> the dude, rubbery, the, dude, rubbery the, as yeah, wicked rubbery man. But <laughs> but I, I like the story. I like the storyline. Yeah, it like was the, cool. The hook in the in the film's pretty. The good. unrated version is cool. I have yeah. that. Um, and then the last one. On my list is uh, the new triple X, which you guys already kind of touched on. And I don't care. <laughs> I think I really don't. And that's it, man. All right. That so, went through uh, nice and smooth. Uh, if we look at a general consensus that uh, we are unhappy with a lot of these <laughs> yeah. sequels as rather than happy to what the sequels are going to be. Hobo you know, Shotgun 2. Where, yeah. where you at? Two and three <laughs> out there. My issue is that there's just not enough originality. They're either rebooting or making too many sequels. What, what was the last original movie that's come out? I can't think of one, really. So, it's oh, just... Interstellar. Yeah. It wasn't really original, though. Uh, I, I feel like that was a rip-off of The Martian. Granted, the story... I don't. I didn't read The Martian, but the mm-hmm. from what I've heard, the storylines share a <laughs> lot of similarities. To the point where you could almost say that this person read The Martian and then wrote Interstellar, and now The Martian's coming out. I disagree. Um, I read The Martian and Interstellar, it, completely different storylines. I think, uh, as far as Interstellar, not again to a rant, but that was a movie, it was space travel and it dealt with like time and space, but like, I, I really didn't feel like I was rewatching something rehashed. Like I, like I thought it was like its own good standalone movie. Prometheus was pretty original. That I was thought, a good um, sci-fi. Yeah, that one. I the last one I can really remember that I thought was like a cool original story. I don't know if it like bit off anyone. Was Looper? I thought Looper, Looper was cool. was good. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what it is, dude? It's like the um, we're probably reaching like the threshold of like the human imagination. How could you create something that somebody else hasn't thought of like ever? Like, you know what I mean? It's got, Brian, you mentioned it. Tarantino. Tarantino says he was quoted like everybody piggybacks off or something. So, right. And I do believe in that. Like I do. Cause even with myself, I'm not some like big time writer, writer at all, but I like to write. It's very hard to like 
just come up with something fresh, fresh and original, you know? I get mad at myself when I look at the paper. I'm like, this is garbage. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, that wraps right. up, uh, what, 39? Episode 39, yep. So we're going to go into um, our next episode, which is going to be on our favorite sci-fi movies, which this is one of my favorite genres. Um, if you want to hit us up on New Breed Film Reviews on Facebook, um, Paulie runs the Twitter. So uh, somebody somebody tweet us. You know? We need more followers. Our, our follower account is Film. not high right now. Yeah. And you can also check us out on um, Podomatic is where our main hosting site is, but we're also on iTunes. We're on Blueberry. And now yeah. we're on TuneIn Radio. Stitcher. And now we're anywhere that there's a podcast. Miro. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're all over. TuneIn Radio. Just find us, subscribe, uh, send us some um, feedback. New Breed, Film, New Breed Film Reviews 2014 at Gmail. And, uh, I mean, thanks for listening. Yeah. We'll check you out on the next one. Have a good night. Later. <laughs>